So here's the mount. It's really simple. This slot right here is where you'll put your, your mounting kit or else your stabilizer through to go into your bow. There's obviously where the camera screws on. It moves around to get it out of the way of, of whatever. Some cameras are tall, some cameras are long. If you have tall and you're on your stabilizer cam, you might have trouble having it straight up and your arrow going over top of it so you can move it off this side. Works really good. When you go to put it on your bow, so if you wanted to put it where your stabilizer was, simply get your stabilizer and screw it in your stabilizer slot. Till it is secure. And there it is. That simple and you're ready to go out and film your shots. A couple other spots you could also put them out if for some reason you have a stabilizer and you don't want the extra weight of the camera right there or for whatever reason you didn't want it there. You could mount it right in here. And then also up top on your bow, wherever you have an extra uh, slot to put a bolt through or anything, you can also put it there. So it's easy to use. This past season we used it. I loved it. We got a number of shots on film with it. We're going to be using it in years to come. And just a great tool for us getting a second angle. But for, you, for anyone else who doesn't want to carry that ca camera on the tripod or the tree arm, you can use it as a, as a great first and only angle. You get good footage with it, especially if you practice holding your bow steady after you release the arrow. I'm Brian Madison with DeerHunterFan.com TV, and be sure to visit www.insaneartery.com and check out this mountain.